Hi everyone and welcome to Pebbles channel. With the pandemic on the rise, I do hope you follow the precautionary measures in order to keep safe. Without mathematics, there is nothing you can do. Everything around you is mathematics. Everything around you is numbers. Mathematics is the only subject that counts. We see numbers in our everyday life. Understanding the concept of numbers is important. Numbers are important in our everyday life. For example, we are mobile number, our body parts like we have two eyes, one nose, two ears, two hands, ten fingers, two legs and ten toes. Other examples are the number of books that we carry every day to school, the number of rooms in our house. So, understanding the number concepts enables identifying and comparing numbers. Okay children, so in today's session you will be learning numbers from 0 to 10. You will learn to identify the numbers and learn to write it as well. So shall we start with the number 0. So I'll just give you a small example. I have some lollipops in this cup and I take away all the three lollipops and give it away. So what do I have in this cup? You can see that there is nothing. Nothing means zero. Zero means absence of something. So do you like to learn to write the number zero? We can do it with a rhyme. Are you ready to sing with me children? The wheels of the bus goes round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels of the bus goes round and round, all through the town. So, by seeing this, you will be able to trace the number zero. So, can you tell me what number is this? Yes, this is number zero. Can I repeat this for you? Zero means absence of something. Dear children, I think you are quite familiar with the number zero. So shall we move on to the next number? Now you are going to learn numbers from one to five. So I'm going to show you small props that you use every day in your house. So we will have, can you tell me how many cars I have in my hand? Yes, it is one car. Can you repeat? It is one car. The next number that you are going to learn is number two. I have two apples in my hand. Can we count together? One apple, two apples. I know all of you don't like to eat apples, but apples are very good and very healthy. So from now on, I hope you would try to eat more apples. So how many apples? It is two apples. I'm going to show you another fruit. It is, I have three pomegranates. Can we count together? One, two, three. Three pomegranates. If you cut open a pomegranate, you will see some juicy seeds. And children, I do hope you start eating fruits. Fruits will help you keep safe. Okay, so we have seen three pomegranates. Next, I'm going to show you the number four. We have four cups. One, two, three, and four. So how many cups do I have in my hand? It is four. So children, can we count it together? One, two, three, four. We have four cups. 
And another thing that you use, especially mum and dad uses this at home. They are, can anyone tell me what are these? Yes, these are pens. I have two, three colors in my hand. Red, blue and black. Shall we count the number of pens? One, two, three, four, five. So I have five pens. How many pens do I have? Five pens. So what are all the things that we've seen for numbers one to five? We've seen one car, two apples, three pomegranates, four cups and five pens. Can we see the numbers on, a pa on paper? Okay, so we have already learned the number zero. What number is this? Yes, it is number zero. Then we seen number one. Yes, it is number one. We seen one card, didn't we children? Yes, it is number one. The next number will be number two. So how many apples did we see children? Yes, we seen two apples. The next number will be number three. What did we see? Did we see three apples or did we see three pens? No, we seen three pomegranates. Exactly. The next number after three will be number four. What did we see for number four? Can anyone tell me what did we see for number four? Yes, we seen four cups. Oh, you are quite excellent. The next number will be number five. I said you will be using this at home, especially mom and dad. What was it did we see? Yes, we seen five pens. Okay, so do you like to learn a rhyme? You like to sing along with me? I hope all of you love to listen to rhymes. Okay, so I'm going to sing a rhyme for you and I will be using small puppets. I know all of you like puppets, don't we? When we were small, our teacher used puppets, finger puppets to show us how to learn the rhymes. So I'm going to sing a rhyme for you by using the puppets. And the name of the rhyme will be Finger Rhyme. I know most of you must have already listened to the rhyme. No problem, you will learn it again with me. Along with the rhyme, you will also learn the numbers. Shall we start children? Are you ready all of you? <laughs> 